Number 36. Which of the subshells described in the previous question contain degenerate orbitals? And how many degenerate orbitals are in each? So here is number 35 that we just did. If you need a full explanation on how to do 35, go to the last question. I'm just going to put the answers here that this one was the 2P, this one was the 4D, and this one was the 6S subshell. Okay. Now we just have to find out which ones contain degenerate orbitals. Now the word degenerate in the chemistry sense means that um, the orbitals have the same energy amount. So orbitals have same energy. So there could be many different orbitals that have the same exact energy level and the same amount of energy in which the electrons are stored. So that's just what degenerate orbitals mean. Orbitals with the same energy. Now, how do we find out if orbitals are degenerate? Well, it's coming from the actual orbitals, and the ones who talk about the orbitals are the ML values. So remember, the ML, how you can find an ML value, is always from the negative L to the positive L value of your subshell. If we don't have the L value, we would not be able to find out if we have degenerate orbitals. So I'm going to put over here A, B, and C. So for A, they specifically told me that the L was 1. So let's try to find out if we have degenerate orbitals. It comes from the ML, and it would be the negative L to the positive L. So in this case, the L is equal to 1, so it would be negative L all the way, oops, sorry, it would be negative 1 all the way to plus 1, positive 1. How many numbers does that incorporate and you only use whole numbers? Well, it would be negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So how many total orbitals are there in your L equals 1? There's three orbitals, and they are all degenerate. They all share the same amount of energy. Now, we already said that this was the 2p, right? So the p orbitals, so this would be a p. The p orbitals have three orbitals every single time. If you want to know the names of them, it's the px, the py, and the pz. Those are your three specific orbitals, the px, the py, and the pz. So, yes, to answer the question for this one, this one would contain degenerate, actually I won't put C, I'll just put have degenerate orbitals. So that's the answer to A. Now we do the same exact thing to see if we have degenerate orbitals for B. So we have L equals 2. So if we want to find the ML, it has to be from now negative 2 all the way to positive 2. How many total numbers is that? Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So in this case, there's five specific orbitals, five different orientations, because the ML gave me five different numbers. So these are five different orbitals. Different orbitals. And would they have the same energy, or were they not? They would all have the same energy. So these would also have degenerate Degenerate, degenerate energy orbitals, we'll say, because they all have the same um, energy level, and they're all coming from the same L value. So that answer is B. So both A and B have degenerate orbitals. Um, C. L equals zero. Well, let's see. ML equals technically negative L to positive L, so this one would be negative zero all the way to positive zero technically, right? But does that make any sense? No, right? This would just be zero. So how many different orbitals? Only one orbital here. So can this be degenerate? Can the orbitals have the same energy? No. So in this case, there are no degenerate, degenerate orbitals. So now, we just need to know how many. We kind of answered this question because it just comes from how many numbers are in the ML. 
Since for A, there was three numbers, the answer would be three orbitals. Since for B, there was five different numbers, you would have five orbitals. And then for C, you only had one number, so you only have one orbital. So that would kind of answer the second part. And that's it. So the first two, A and B, have degenerate orbitals. The third one does not. And then you have three orbitals, five orbitals, and one orbital. And that is it. Also, if you guys also wanted to figure out, for the D, what the actual names of the orbitals for D, I could tell you that right here, and then we'll end it. So for D, you could have the DXY, you could have the DXZ orbital, you could have the DZ squared, the DYZ, and then the DX squared minus Y squared orbital. Just fancy ways of just indicating a difference in orientation of the orbital. All right? Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love helping you guys. And if you want to click the subscribe button, You'll let us get out there to help other students just like yourself with chem, with physics. My brother's doing physics. Um, and hopefully in the future, we can do more uh, textbooks for you guys. We love doing this stuff. See you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.